my magic pet Morphle can morph into anything I want. <laughs> Did you see that, Yawn? Mila's dad is holding a barbecue party. Yeah, and we haven't been invited again. Yeah. Oh, look, Yawn, over there. That's Morphle. And no one is keeping an eye on him. Let's grab him while everyone is distracted. Almost. Hey, it's the bandits. Oh, shoot. He's on to us. Run away. He spotted us so easily. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you just gave me an idea, Yorn. Oh, I did? You know what they say. The best way to hide is to hide in plain sight. Follow me, Yorn. Oh, hello there. I don't seem to recognize you. Do we know each other? Do we know each other? Ouch! You must be joking. Don't you remember us? We're your long lost brothers. This is brother and I'm big brother. Well, I do have a lot of brothers. Enjoy the barbecue, you two. Let me check my family album. I can't believe that worked. Now we can catch more food. Yeah. But, uh, where is he? Ah! Oh. Hey, brothers. There you are. I had a question. A question for uh, uh, us? How come you two don't have any pictures in the family album? That's because we're... Um, we are shy? Very shy. You don't have to be ashamed of yourselves. You may be looking a bit weird, but you have great beards. Phew. <laughs> He bought it. Yes, let's look for Morphle again. Dad! Wait! <laughs> I've got him, Stein! You... you did it! Now what do we do? I don't know. We never got this far. Whee! Oh, help me, Stein! I can't hold on much longer! Oh, no! Ah! Morphle does that all the time. <laughs> Wait, where are your beards? Uh, uh, well, <coughs> um, uh, Wait a minute. You're not my brothers. You're the bandits. Bandits! Oh no, what do we do? I, I don't know. You didn't have to dress up like that, bandits. If you wanted to join our barbecue, you could have just asked me. Now, why don't you join us? You hear that, Stein? This is the first time we've been invited to something. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, do you still want to catch more food today? Nah. Let's just enjoy the barbecue. <laughs> That's how my animal mixer works. It can combine all sorts of animals. This would be great to create new pets for the magic pet shop. Watch this. I don't know how to change them back without Professor Rashid's help. No, wait! Morph into a superhero, Morphle! Over here! What is it, Zookeeper Kenneth? My animals are all mixed up, and I see your cat has a lion's head. Well, my lion has a cat's head. Pause. Is that you? Hmm. So the machine swaps parts of existing animals. So to find the real Rashid, we have to find the duck. To the park, Morphle. And that's the physics of why people can't fly, but ducks can. Pretty neat, eh? Professor Rashid! Ah, Mila, Morphle, let's return to the lab so we can reverse this nonsense. That should do it. Now hit the switch. Wonderful! Now for the rest of the animals. Please don't change them back again. People love them at the zoo. I've never had this many visitors. And I would very much like to raise them to be great magic pets. Okay, so this is Aquilee. Its magic powers allow it to swim wherever he wants, even if there's no water there. 
Yes, exactly what we were looking for. <laughs> oh, shh, shh, shh. Make a water stream right into town. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I. Finally, we can cause mischief away from the sea. Steal all the toys we want. <laughs> and we can steal all the ice cream we want. <sighs> I love ice cream. We can now even smash sand castles that are not on the beach! <laughs> How are they sailing their ship through the city? Morphle, morph into a boat too! Morphle, those pirates have Aquily. Use the magic pen transporter who... Aquily? Morphle, morph into a dolphin. It's always true. something. Uh, easy come, easy I wish we could have had more ice
was green. No, my light was green. Uh, why? Those objects have no color, just like me. <laughs> been stealing all the color from the city. You shouldn't do that. A world without color isn't fun at all. for you. There are lots of problems in the city because you took away all the colors. Morphle can help Chroma paint everything back to its original colors again. Hi there. Somehow our fire truck lost its color. Morphle and Chroma can help you with that. A fire truck is always red, just like you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Morphle and Chroma. <laughs> Hi, Cloud Monster. solved all the problems in the city already. Morphle and Chroma make a great team together. Chroma really likes coloring. It sure does. Hmm, I have an idea. Chroma, do you want a human companion that loves color? painter like me.
Ready when you are, Morpho. What on earth was that? Where did that big spider come from? I think I heard it laughing. That's crazy. <laughs> we are the lunch bandits! <laughs> yeah, give us your lunch! <laughs> but I don't have any lunch. Your lunch money will have to do then. No! Who's next? Uh-oh! That doesn't look good. Save him, Morpho! Give me back my sandwich! No way! Whoa! Here, Yorn. Amateur! <laughs> yeah! Everybody. And my sandwich. Mm. And you're not that scary after all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Morpho, our reflections inside Mr. Mirror are so funny. They certainly are, madam. fell through my magic mirror into the mirror world. Here, everything is the opposite of what it's like in your world. Really? That sounds strange. I want to go back home. You want to go back? No. In this world, magic pets never do what humans tell them to. <laughs> He ran off! How do we get back now? Everything in this world is the exact opposite of back home. Hi, kids! Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Vanderboos. I saw where Mr. Mirror went. Come on, I'll be happy to help. Okay, Morpho. Morph into an airplane. An airplane? There's no water around here. In this world, you can only fly using a boat. Look, it's Police Officer Peter Freeze. Not in our city. Wow. Look, Morpho. In this world, Peter Freeze is a bad guy, and the bandits are good guys. Mr. Mirror went into my favorite place. The zoo. 
It's so fun to watch humans. Ah, over there, it's Mr. Mirror. Mr. Mirror no wanna help. Yeah, but I've got an idea. Hey, Mr. Mirror, we definitely don't want to ever go back home. We love it so much in this world. You don't want to go back? <laughs> like I said, in this world, magic pets never do what humans want. Look, I think we're back home, Morphle. Yup, you guys again. I like the other Meland Morphle much better. They came to the zoo with me to laugh at all the animals. <laughs> Just look at it with its non-opposable thumbs. Well, I for one am happy you're back. and Mechanic Joe are wrecking the city. Why would they do that? Not in my city. Zap him with the Hypno Ray, Yorn. Follow us. Yes, sir. Morphle, morph into a giant robot. Stop Lawrence and Joe from wrecking the city, Morphle. <laughs> no, Morphle. Help them wreck the city. Okay, Mr. Bandit. Oh, no. Morphle turns evil. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> because of this hypno ray, everybody will have to do what we say. Hypnotized Morphle! But how can we stop them when Morphle doesn't do what you say? <sighs> okay, here we go, Bandit Yorn. I'm sure it will work, Stein. Mom! There are two people here that want to tell you something. <sighs> if it isn't my good-for-nothing sons, I don't have time for the two of you right now. The president isn't going to blackmail himself. Tell her, tell her. Your sons are the greatest baddies that I have ever seen in my city. They are truly bad baddies. What are you talking about? My sons have never been real baddies, and now they've even brought a cop to my house. Why, I, you two are even worse baddies than I thought. But... Mom, <laughs> tell us that we are great baddies. Yes, tell us you are proud of us. Stop it, bandits. Why should we? You are just a little girl without your red blob. Everybody, grab them. Huh? Why are these people following your orders? Did you hypnotize them? People shouldn't do what you say because you force them. They should do what you say because they agree with you. And for wrecking the city, you two are going to jail. My sons are getting arrested? Yes, Mom. We get arrested all the time. Oh, boys. The two of you are real baddies after all. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. Did you hear that, Stein? 
Yes, I did, Yorn. Yes, I did. The city looks perfect again, but come on, guys. It's time for bed now. No, Daddy. We don't want to go to bed. And you should only do what people say if you agree with them. <laughs> That's true. But little kids do what their daddies say. <laughs> Just daddies? And mommies. And school teachers. And the police officer. And grandmas and grandpas. Uh, let's see. And... Playing with you, Shelly. I love playing with you guys, too. Oh, I have to go. Bye, guys. Bye, Shelly. Hmm, where do we go now, Morphle? What are you two up to today? We're playing with Morphle's favorite toy, <gasps> Mr. Action! Mr. Action is really great and always helps people in need. Except for the bad guys, of course, like Professor Evil. Oh, wow! How about we zap him to life so he can really help the people in the city? Oh, <laughs> put it on the ground, Morphle. I am 
them, Mr. Action! <laughs> Professor Evil, my enemy. Hand over that device. Oh, mm. all right. Well, that was easy. Oh, no! Time to help the city fall! Mission action! We have to get that life ray back, Morpho! Quickly! Morph into a superhero, too! This calls for action. Don't worry, ma'am. I've got this. Get out of here! Catch it, Morpho! Leave this woman alone! Thank you, Morpho. <laughs> and you're the worst! I'll take that, boys. That definitely calls for some action. Wait, what? Here you go, honest citizens. Uh, but those are the bad guys. Lying never pays, Peter Freeze. <laughs> Holding Professor Evil. Are you his henchman? No, no, no. This is Professor Evil. Professor Evil is a toy, just like you used to be, Mr. Action. This is Professor Rashid, and he shouldn't be a toy. Oh, no. Thank you for your explanation, tiny blueberry girl. No. Tumbling test tubes! Oh. But how can I fight Professor Evil now? I must become a toy again myself! Already. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. Look, look. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we went my car. It's chilly outside today. Daddy, what's going on? Are we shrinking? No, the car is growing. I can't reach the steering wheel anymore. Quickly, Morpho, morph into a plane. Morpho, you have to put it to a stop. Morph into a giant car yourself. Like we're not done yet. going to be just fine, Phoebe. Drink some tea and keep warm. Your cold will be over in a couple of days. Hmm. What? Out of the way, everybody! Everybody, out of the way! Look out! Oh, no! It's heading for the water! Oh no, my truck! Quickly, Morpho, morph into a giant tow truck! Oh, thank you, Morpho! Ah, you've saved my ice cream! Hi, Mila! What are you all doing here? And why is that car so big? I'm afraid you did that, Phoebe. Every time you sneeze, you used your magic. <gasps> oh, no. But no worries. Nothing bad happened. Let's go zap everything back to normal. Morphle, morph into a rocket. Everybody could use a treat after this adventure. And I have a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Morphle, would you get it for me? Morphle, morph into a giant digger.
Let's in my room turn into a jungle all of a sudden. Let's check on Daddy downstairs. Steady. Thank you for the nice pictures. <laughs> you can move along now. a lion and chase the tiger out of here. Bigger, Morpho. Well, that was something special. <laughs> Ooh, thank you for saving me. I can't wait to develop all these amazing pictures. Hey, give that back. Everyone, what do you think of the new garden I've created with Papa Jungle? Marvelous! It looks beautiful, Daddy. But Papa Jungle's magic has turned the whole house into a jungle. Huh? Monkeys? Hmm, maybe he went a bit too far. He's on the roof! Morph into a big monkey. Papa Jungle, you need to stop. This jungle is getting way too dangerous. Yeah! The Marky, Marky, save me! <laughs> Aww. Let's keep it small this time. Papa Jungle? Lovely! Ooh, a butterfly! Let's make a dino slide. Morphle, morph into an Argentinosaurus. Dinosaur in the city? <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! There is no place for a dinosaur in my city. What? Why not? Well, dinosaurs scare a lot of uh other people in the city. <laughs> not me. Oh no! See? <gasps> I think someone's in trouble. Mila, Morpho, I can't get down anymore. I know a dinosaur that can help with that. Well... I do not know, Charish! Thank you. Dinosaurs are really handy. Mila and Morpho, I'm late for work. Can you help me get there quick? You know what's really fast? Let me guess. A dinosaur. Yeah, morph into a Gallimimus. Whoa! You're a really fast dinosaur. Thank you, Morpho. Dinosaur! Fun! Well, uh, hey, Mila and Morpho. Can you help me at the farm?
It seems there is a place in the city for a dinosaur. <laughs> My chain! <gasps> Help! We need to get it back! I have an idea. And I need a dinosaur. Did you see his face? Yeah, <laughs> they are really scared of us, Stein. Uh, T-Rex? <laughs> <laughs> There's even a place for a dinosaur scaring people in my city. As long as it's the bandits. <laughs> oh no. I lost my glasses. Don't worry, Daddy. Just remember where you had them last. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Maybe I lost them when we went to the North Pole to find the Jolly Fat. <laughs> yeah. Morpho loved the Jolly Fin because he makes ice cream. Ah, yes. Now I remember. I slipped on a banana split and lost my glasses. But the Jolly Fin caught them, remember? Oh, yeah. That's right. So where did he go next? Maybe I lost them while we were bringing Papa Jungle to its new human companion in the desert this morning. Oh yeah! Now I remember! That jungle monkey stole my glasses. We have to go back to the desert and find them. into a monkey, too, and gave it back. Oh, yeah, I remember. Hmm. So you didn't lose your glasses in the desert. Where else could you have lost them? Next, we had to catch the escaped magic pet, Chuckles. His magic power is that he makes people laugh uncontrollably. Chuckles made me laugh so hard, my glasses fell off. Yep, but I caught them and gave them back. Ah, uh, yeah. You're right. Do you remember what you did after that, Daddy? After that, I came home and sat down. <laughs> you were sitting on them the whole time, Daddy. <laughs> You're right. Yes. Ah, much better. Okay, Morpho. It's story time. Upon a time, there was a mama duck whose eggs were about to hatch. When they did, little baby ducks came out. All of them were super cute and fluffy, except for one of the ducklings. It was different because it was big and red, and it didn't have any feathers. And 
Instead of quacking, it sounded like this. I is it the king? It wanted to play with its brothers and sisters, but they said it was ugly and they made fun of it. Yes, the brothers and sisters of the duckling were really mean. It made the duckling very sad. So sad that it flew off to play by itself. And when it was there by itself, all sad, all of a sudden, a giant dinosaur appeared. It chased the little duckling around. The little duckling flew for its life. There were big dinosaurs everywhere. Then it flew into the claws of a giant flying dinosaur called the pterodactyl. The little duckling was sure that the pterodactyl was about to eat it. But it didn't. Do you know why? No, Muffle, no, no. Because it was the duckling's real mother. You see, the duckling wasn't really a duckling. When it was just an egg, it accidentally rolled into the duckling's nest. The duckling grew larger and larger until it was just as big as its mommy. The end. Daniel Duckling, go see a brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So, the Dino Duckling went back to visit its mean brothers and sisters. And they were bullying a new duckling because it had big feet. Yeah, and the dino duckling roared really loudly and it chased away its mean brothers and sisters. for the bull riding competition, but I only have this cow. Morphle, morph into a big bull. Okay, Morphle, this is the game. Farmer Bob is going to hold on as tightly as possible. And you try to do whatever you can to throw him off. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Woo, hippie. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Rush. 
This was the best rodeo training I could ever imagine. Thanks a lot, Morphle. Some crime through time. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Morph into a time racer too, Morphle. Crime in a different time, Stein. Hold it. But the bandits. No buts, my lady. I am Knight Peterian Frost, and you are trespassing in my medieval village. Oh no! Morph into a dragon, Morphle! Just you wait, you dragon. I'm going to get my real sword. Right over, Princess! Are you all right, my little princess? Yes, dear father. Thanks to these curious travelers. Uh, Mila? Me? No. I'm Princess Leela, and this is Sir Father. I'm Mila, and this is Morpho. Morpho. A pleasure to meet you both. Say, do you perhaps know where those awful bandits have taken our treasure? Hmm. I might. Morphle, morph back into a big time racer. That's right. You better run. No dragons in my city, uh, village. <laughs> We're rich, Stein. Yes. Maybe we can stop stealing now. Nah. <laughs> Hand over that treasure, you scoundrels! Oh, let's go, Yon. Your luck has run out. Quickly, the other car! Oh, not cool. You made this contraption, good sir? Are you a wizard? Oh, <laughs> well, no. I'm a scientist. How curious. Well, if you have a moment. Sir Father seems to thoroughly enjoy it here. Well, you are welcome to visit anytime, whenever you want. Fruits of the earth by sea, which is, of course, the speed of light. You're right. <laughs> I think we will. That is divisible only by three known irrational cofactorials. There's a crocodile in my apples! <laughs> oh, no! Ah, a shark! Ah. You 
get the award for... <laughs> Let's water this beautiful garden of ours, Barky. Hmm. Wait a second. This isn't a garden hose. It's a... <laughs> snake! <laughs> we are now the Scary Animal Bandits. We steal scary animals and release them in the city. But Stein, I thought we were... Shh. Release the tiger! Ah, help! Oh no! We need to help them, Morpho. Morpho? Morpho no can help. Uh, tiger scary. The tiger is scary for me too, Morpho. It is very dangerous. But you don't need to be afraid of the tiger because you can morph into something big. So the tiger is scared of you instead. Yeah. I know just what would scare a tiger. Look! A big T-Rex! Morpho still scared. Of course, but you should still do it. Because if we do something a lot, you won't be scared anymore. <laughs> Yay! Now let's scare all the other animals out of the city. Animals are making sure everyone in the city stays inside so that we can execute our real plan. Yeah, <laughs> we are actually the Fruit Bandits. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So if we eat all the fruit in the city, we don't ever have to go to the doctor again. Ooh, and the doctor is really scary. Ooh. We need to stop them. More into a big crocodile. Yeah, a big, dangerous crocodile! Bandits, you don't need to steal all that fruit. I used to be scared of the doctor, but I went anyway. And now, I'm not scared of the doctor at all. Because if you do something a lot, you won't be scared anymore. Really? Hello. There you are. Please follow me inside. He is not scary at all, Stein. Mila, Morphle, you have to bring this egg to Uncle Mortimer before it hatches. It has his new magic pet inside it. Quick, Morphle, morph into a car. Good luck! A trap! Big jam! <gasps> Morpho, dodge the cars! Now dodge that traffic light! Oh no! The egg is starting to hatch! We have to be faster! Morpho, morph into a race car!
Watch out, Morphle! Ducklings! Oh no! The wheels are stuck in the sand! Morphle, morph into an ostrich so you can run through the sand! Magic pet is super, super fast! <laughs> Something strange is happening. For the last few days, my chickens have been disappearing one by one every night. That's strange. Morpho, that must be the chicken thief. Let's go get him. It's a UFO! It wasn't the fox, but aliens! Quick! Morphle, morph into a rocket! Can I offer you some freshly baked pancakes? They are quite tasty. Uh, no. Give back those chickens. But, but you can't make pancakes without eggs. There are no egg beasts in space. I am so sorry, Earthling Bob. It wasn't my intention to steal your egg beasts. I mean chickens. All is good. If you promise you won't take my chickens anymore, you can come once a week and I will give you eggs. I promise, Earthling Bob, and in return I will give you some space pancakes. With Professor Rasheed's time machine, we are unstoppable! <laughs> we have to stop them, Morpho! Morph into a dinosaur superhero! can do any more damage. No, wait! This is not how it's supposed to happen!
Mila and Morphle. Let's get them all together so I can zap them back into prehistoric times. Quickly, pick up the Triceratops, Morphle. <laughs> I think you forgot one dinosaur! <laughs> oh, God, no. oh no! Morphle! <laughs> <laughs> Quick! To the lab! We need to find out where he went! Tubes. Hang on, Morphle! That should do it. Competition. The most special painting wins an amazing award! Morphle, morph into a magic paintbrush! Hmm, what do you think we should paint, Morphle? We have to come up with something very special. How about painting a flower? Hmm, not bad, Morphle. Perfect. I don't think flowers are special enough to win the award, Morphle. An animal. <laughs> Beautiful, aren't they? Hmm, still not special enough. Come, Morphle. We have to find something very interesting. Our painting has to be the most special of them all. <laughs> no, Morphle. It has to be extraordinarily special. Hmm. I know. Morphle, morph into a rocket. Oh, no. What are they going to paint up there? Gentlemen, this year we have two winners of the award. And now it's time to reveal their work. Here we have winner number one. And this is winner number two. <laughs> And then, the big monster jumped out of the bushes and roared, roar! Ah! That's it for tonight. <laughs> 
Sleep tight, Mila and Morphle. <sighs> Good night, Daddy. Morphle, stir, Mila and Morphle, too. Morphle, there are no crocodiles in our backyard. Ah! There is a crocodile in the bushes. A crocodile? This looks more like a ball to me. <laughs> for scary animals to jump out of. <laughs> scary! A T-Rex! Ah! <laughs> <gasps> it's Orful! I knew it! Orful! Let's scare him back, Morful! Let's go to the beach, Morphle. Yeah! Morphle, morph into a submarine. Hi there, sea monster. We want to scare Orful. Do you want to help us? It's just Orful. Oh, hi, Orful. Me have never no scare? No. But you should be scared. Look. Real sea monster. Ah! Now we're awful scared. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sea monster. <laughs> It's a rainbow! It's so bright and colorful! Let's go check it out, Morphle! Morph into a unicorn! Let's follow the rainbow and see where it leads us! Hello, you two. Welcome to our magical world. Uh, will you come play with us? Of course. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's follow him, Morphle. Please join us and have some tea and a cupcake. The sun is setting, so we have to put the stars in the sky. Will you two help us? Sure. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, but we have to get back. It's getting late. 
And my friends can help you. Red! Orange! Yellow! Green! Blue! Purple! Wow! This rainbow is so pretty! Thank you so much! This giant Ophelus is way too big to fit in my magic pet delivery van, but this giant dump truck is perfect. Okay, bring the giant Ophelus to the junkyard. That's where his new companion lives. But be careful. Because the giant Ophelus can be very playful. Okay, Daddy. The giant Ophelus is so big. really likes playing with cars. Yes, that's why I can use him here on the junkyard. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess that's a fine place for him then. As long as he doesn't cause more trouble in my city. <laughs> the nerve. Can you believe this? No. Oh, what a day. Oh, what a day. Besides, I don't think I even have a jail cell big enough for him. Good news, Mila and Morphle. I've just spoken to your dad on the phone, and he will be home in two days. That's wonderful. We've been having a lot of fun staying with you, Uncle Wilford. But we miss Daddy. No worries. He'll be home before you know it. Good night, Uncle Wilford. Good night, Mila and Morphle. Night, night, Uncle Wilford. Where is my house? What's going on? This isn't my street. Ah, uh, Mila, Morphle, the strangest thing has happened. Some of the houses have moved around in the night. Can you and Morphle put them back again? Sure thing, Uncle Wilford. 
Morphle, morph into a helicopter. Let's go straight to bed. Look at that, Morphle. The police station is alive. Wow. So that's why all the houses were in a wrong place. Quickly, Morphle, morph into a plane so we can follow it. Where you are supposed to be, police station. We are going to have to take you back, or your owner will not like it when he wakes up. Looking for us? Did you miss us? Oh, I'm sorry that we are staying at Uncle Wilford's house. But Daddy will be back soon, and then we will be back as well. Now, let us take you back to our street. Strange. A cloud make the house alive. You're right, Morphle. Let's investigate. Morph into a rocket. Morphle. 
Papa, why are you out this late? Shouldn't you be in bed? <sighs> we should, but all the houses in the city are walking around because of that green smoke. Oh, dear. We've been brewing this potion for our own house and didn't realize the smoke would be that strong. But it's done now. Take a look at what it does. Hello, everybody. Wow! Hello, Mr. House. Mr. House, could you take our friends to their home? I think they've had quite enough excitement for one night. It will be my pleasure. Am I crazy? Or were you walking around just now? Daddy, you're back. We've missed you. Ah, Mila, Marvel. It's great to see you again. But what are you doing up this late? Oh, boy. Well, we're off. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Uh, good night. Well, Mila. I believe you've had quite an adventure while I was gone. We sure did. But let's get inside our house first, so it won't miss us anymore. Buildings up, Morphle. It was so dark underground. <laughs> Do you know what is making all these holes, Daddy? I think I do. Look! It's an earth shark! Hmm, I don't think the earth shark is in the city to cause damage. It's just looking for a human companion. Is that right, earth shark? I think I know just the right companion for you. April, let's play! 
play basketball too. Oh. Um. Okay. We get the ball first because we are big. Hey, you can't touch my hat, and you can't walk with the ball. That's against the rules. Well, we are pirates. We don't like playing by the rules. Hmm. Okay, but don't you want to play with our ball instead? I mean, maybe yours might get dirty. Yes. Hmm. Great point. Nice one, Phil. Huh? Close, but not good enough. You dropped it, Pirate Phil. It's not my fault the ball was like jelly. <laughs> Two points for us. going on with that ball. I think it's Morphle Pirate Maurice. What? But that's against the rules. You have to play basketball with a real ball. I thought pirates don't like playing by the rules. Well, we don't. But this is not fun at all. Maybe we should just play by the rules, Pirate Maurice. I guess cheating just isn't fun. Hmm. Okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like basketball. Oh, wow. This was fun. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Today, Morpho and I are going to show you different kinds of shapes. There are different basic shapes. There are circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, and ovals. Morpho, morph into a square. Do you know anything that has the shape of a square? Vision! Yeah, that's a square. Now, morph into an oval. Do you know what object is shaped like an oval? Alpha! Submarine! Good one! The body of the submarine is shaped like an oval. And do you know something that has the shape of a rectangle? Next up is the triangle. Morph into something that has the shape of a triangle. Pyramid! Wow! <laughs> yeah! A pyramid is shaped like a triangle. And the last one is the circle. Ha, 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 ha. 
to a shark. This has got to be the best wave ever! Hi! Yeah. Don't be scared, it's just Morphle! Phew! Hi there, Morphle! But check this out, you guys! Ta-da! Oh, wow! Let's try and trick too, Morphle! Nice! Yeah, the waves are great today. Hmm, they are unusually big. Watch out below! Dudes, that was some great surfing. Surfing? We were not surfing. We were fleeing from the huge monster that created these waves. It was going to devour us. But we're not going to be a pirate sandwich. Nuh-uh. No way. Are you sure it was a monster? Are you calling me a liar? I swear it on my father's peg leg! Daddy, can Morphle and I go check it out? Well, okay. But Morphle, you have to keep Mila very safe. Morphle, too. Crazy people. to hurt you. <laughs> Aw, were you just splashing those waves at the pirates because you were looking for a friend to play with? Animals. 
now that the waves are gone, you won't need these anymore. <laughs> Not cool, Mr. McBeardface. Oh, no. We have to stop them, Morphle. Whoa! Cool! So you're the big bad monster that's causing all this trouble. But I think that having the power to create waves will come in pretty handy for these surfers. Definitely! Expecting. But one mustn't complain. Well, come on, no time to waste. Into the time racer. Oh, uh, um, uh, okay. Yeah, bye. Goodbye. Mila, Morphle, I need your help. <laughs> we are now the police car bandits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if... But I need your help. Okay. Come on, Morphle. Look, Stein, we are actually getting away with it this time. <laughs> Great job, Mila and Morphle. We are heroes, Millicent. Oh, no. There's a traffic jam. <laughs> Morphle, please help the kids get to the zoo. Morphle, morph into a bus. Children, have a wonderful day! Thank you, Mila and Morphle. Bye! Oh, no. Morphle, the garbage truck broke. Okay, morph into a garbage truck. Isn't it, Millicent? <gasps> How filthy! Did you see that, Millicent? This is too much. We shall return to our own time at once. Yes, it turns out that being you is not as easy as I thought it was. Such hard work! 
afraid of sharks. That shark can't come onto land. We'll see about that. Morphle, morph into a shark with legs. That shark has legs. Oh no. Run, Sky Pirate number two. Sky Pirates! We're not afraid of anything on land, either! Man the Terror! Aye, aye, Captain. Let's go after them, Morpho! Ah, watch that! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! It, Sky Pirates! You can't catch us from down there! Weird red shark with legs! <laughs> Morpho weird? Morpho's not weird! And he can reach you! Cause he can fly! What? Morpho, morph into a flying shark! Yeah! Uh, it's flying now! I'm scared! Oh no! Let's go higher, pirate number two! R. Uh, uh, I mean, I. aye! You'll never catch on! <laughs> Water? What's going on? <coughs> and that is why the city needs. <coughs> Water balloons? Yeah! Woohoo! Yay! What? You darn kids! We can't shake him off! Ah! Let's hide in that cave, pirate number two. Good idea, but isn't that cave a little... Small! The pirates must have gone into that cave. Now get in! You're right, the ship is blocking the entrance. But I have an idea. Um, I think we're stuck, Captain. Yeah, but at least that red shark can't get to us in here. Uh, are you sure? The red shark! And he has a drill for a nose! <laughs> We've caught you, Sky Pirates! Now, you should come with us. Where are you taking us? The police station? No, the beach! So you can rebuild all the sand castles you smash. Oh no! Build? But I only know how to smash sand castles. <laughs> Yay! Let's start building. What 
is all that noise? Oh, hello, Mr. Vanderboos. We're building a tree house. It's going to be our clubhouse. A clubhouse? In a tree? What nonsense. Besides, building a tree house is really difficult. There's no way you can do that. I think we can do it, Mr. Vanderboos. You'll see. <laughs> now, first we need to make sure all the planks are the right lengths. Hmm. I don't think scissors are going to be strong enough. Morphle, morph into a saw. Now let's put them together. <laughs> Look at these amateurs, Barky. I think we need some nails for that. Morphle, morph into a hammer. That looks nothing like a tree house. It hasn't even got a roof. Well, that is not half bad, I suppose. And now, let's turn it into a real tree house. Morphle, morph into a... Look at that, Barky. It's actually a decent tree house. Halt! What is the password? Uh, I'm Morphle now now. <laughs> the password is Morphle. Morphle. Whee! Yay! <laughs> It's the most beautiful treehouse I have ever seen. Come on, Morphle. Let's go get April and Troy and have a party in our new clubhouse. What's the password? Huh? The password is Morphle. Wrong. That's the password for your club. If you don't know the password for my club, well, you can't enter. Hmm. Well, then our club will have a picnic on the grass instead of a party in the clubhouse. Hey there, Barky. Do you want to join our club? Um, can I... Can I join your club, too? Of course, Mr. Vanderboos. That's great! Then why don't we have a party in our clubhouse? <laughs> Morphle! Morph into a robot! That was spectacular! Ooh, let's see what our heroes Mila and Marvel have to say! You caught the bandits once again. You must be super excited. Yeah. Morphle can do anything. He's the best magic pet ever. Aww. Close up on the emotions. This was Charlotte's Scoop for PRY News. Milan Morphle, can you help? My ball is stuck on the roof. Of course. Morphle, morph into a fire truck. Amazing! 
Mila and Morphle just helped this boy get back his ball. The one thing that makes him happiest. Tell the audience, how does that make you feel? Uh, okay, I guess. Oh, I can't wait to see what they will do next. Wow. Please tell the viewers all about what you are doing right now. We are setting the table. Wow, setting the table and setting a great example for kids all over the world. <sighs> Again. What are you going to do today? We're not going to do anything today. Morphle, morph into a race car. Wait! Oh no! Morphle, go faster! A speedboat! Exciting! When did you first develop your deep love for the ocean? How did you... Uh, never mind. Morphle, morph into an airplane! Whew. Surely she can't follow us into the air. Wait! I still have more questions to ask you! Oh, no! Morphle, we need to help her! for saving me, Mila and Morphle. If you hadn't followed us, this wouldn't have happened. I hope you learned your lesson. I sure did. That was spectacular! I, for one, can't wait to see what Mila and Morphle will do tomorrow. Oh, no. Um, yes, uh, thank you, Jolly Fat. More ice cream. <sighs> ice cream. Morphle, morph into a bulldozer so we can clear away all this ice cream. Morphle now can morph. Morphle too full. The Jolly Fan is making so much ice cream. Oh, I don't know what to do with it all. Yeah, and it's not healthy for Morphle. We should go out and find a human companion for the Jolly Fan. Okay, Jolly Fat, show Geraldo what you can do. So, what do you say? Do you want to be the Jolly Fan's human companion? No, 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 no. This is too easy. Geraldo's Gelatos is not just some ice cream factory. I am an artist. Hmm. Oh. Look, 
There's a fire over there! But Firefighter Gervin is running out of water! And Morpho still can't morph! Because he ate too much ice cream! Jolly Fan, use your ice cream to put out the fire! Amazing! You're a real hero! A hero? <laughs> it will take me days to clean up this mess! Oh, I think Mr. Vanderboos is right. Hmm. I'm sorry that we couldn't find a fit human companion for you, but don't worry. You will always have a place here at the Magic Pet Store. Hello? Hello? Hi there. I'm looking for a Magic Pet to cheer up the kids at the Children's Hospital.
worry, madam. I'll have your car fixed in no time. Wait a second. I left my tools at the garage. I'm always so forgetful. <laughs> oh, my. But don't worry. I'll tow you there. Great. Wait. You forgot to tow me. Mr. Can I play with your Mr. Action action figure too, Morpho? <laughs> Woo! Wee! Wee! <laughs> Mila, Morpho, come take a look at this new magic pet. What's its magic power, Daddy? I'll show you. Shelly Pete, put everything on this counter into your shell. Oops! No, Shelly Pete, that's Morphle. <laughs> put everything back again. That's hard work. I think Shelly Pete is a great magic pet, Daddy. Huh? But where did it go? Misha Action! Oh no! I think Shelly Pete took Morphle's Mr. Action figure. Misha Action, it caught Morphle! Don't worry, Morphle. We'll get it back. Morph into a search dog. Hey, Mila and Morphle. Have you seen my electric screwdriver? It was right here. Oh, no. Shelly Pete must have taken it. Follow Shelly Pete's trail, Morphle. <laughs> huh? Huh? Who stole my hammer? It sounds like Shelly Pete has been here too. Ah, Mila, Morphle, I seem to have misplaced my wrench. Have you seen it? We're on the case, Professor Rasheen. Mechanic Joe, can you help me? Sure. First, I would need an electric screwdriver. Uh, hello there. Oh, an electric screwdriver. Just what I needed. Thank you. Now I need a wrench. <gasps> you have a wrench as well? Great! Now I only need a hammer. You wouldn't happen to... You have? Wow! All done. I wouldn't have been able to fix the bus without your help. You are the best magic pet ever. There you are, Shelly Pete. And you have the Mr. Action Action figure. Did you take those other things from people without asking as well? That's not good, Shelly Pete. You should never take things from people without asking first. Mr. Action! 
Mission. Great. Now let's give back everything else you took. Ah, there is the wrench. Thank you. Now we can get your other leg fixed, car robot. Wonder where that hammer is. It couldn't have just walked away. <laughs> so you guys had my hammer. Kids these days, always taking whatever they want. You're back. Ah, there they are. Thank you. You know, Shelly Peed, if you will be my magic pet from now on, you can hold all my tools for me, so I won't forget them anymore. Yes, Shelly Peed, you can take that hammer. And Shelly Peed will be a great team mechanic, Joe. Yeah, there's no better magic pet for a forgetful mechanic like myself. Come to think of it, I feel like I forgot something else as well. Hmm, what was it? It's always the same with those mechanics. They just leave you in the middle of nowhere and take all the time in the world to do the simplest of things. How to do it myself. I wonder how the toy dinosaurs are doing, Morphle. Morph into a pterodactyl. Great! You are here to save me! I'm stuck on this island, and it's filled with... Giant monsters! <laughs> Those aren't monsters! They're the toy dinosaurs! No, wait! It will eat you! They're not scary! They are my toys! Professor Rashid's light ray zap them to life! Wow! Really? Morphle, morph into a T-Rex, too! This is amazing! Now, let's play! What is that sound? Oh no! Oh no! Catch them, Morpho! Where did that thing come from? Oh no! Look out, everyone! Mamma mia! Oh no! Monkey! 
Ah, do stop following me, Mr. Ball. Look, Morphle. He needs our help. Nice one, Morphle. Oh, oh, thank you. I couldn't shake it off. Oh, no. Not again! <gasps> Catch it, Morphle! Good boy, Morphle. But it's too late. The balls have scared all of my customers away. <laughs> hmm. Let's clean up this mess, Morphle. idea where the balls are coming from? Not yet, but we are going to find out. They're coming from that direction. Let's keep following them. Trouble in the city with those golf balls. No golf? Well, golf isn't just about hitting the ball really hard. It's not. <laughs> no, it's also about aiming. Let's practice at that instead. Uh, okay. <laughs> Try to hit it a little softer next time. <laughs> next round.
those together. Surprise for you. Follow us. you guys. <laughs> this is a living island, and everyone on the island feels whatever the island feels. But why is the island so sad right now? Because one of its gemstones was stolen by someone living in your town. Oh, no! <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Land ho! What luck, eh, Pirate Phil? <laughs> the island has followed us home. It's almost as if it wants us to take the rest of the gemstones. But first, let's put on our diving suits so that the island's magical feelings cannot affect us. Ooh, those pirates! Always causing trouble! You go and stop them! Do it yourself. No, you should do it. Morphle, morph into a big, angry monster. Uh, no, Morphle, morph in the lion. No, Morphle, a lion isn't big enough. Lion is a big. No, it isn't. Then you stop the pirates all by yourself. Morpho, no, Mila, Mila! <laughs> I'm scared. Oh no, <laughs> you're scaring me! Oh, 
Okay, we're not gonna let them get away with this. Right, Morphle? Nuh-uh! Morph into a robot! Now, let's see how they like it when they're scared. I don't think this was such a good idea, Pirate Maurice. Uh, Let's get out of here, Pirate Phil! Costumes look great, but please don't make a mess when I'm gone. I just cleaned the room. Yes, Daddy, don't worry. Great. Have fun. I am a knight. I protect the people of my kingdom. Knight Mila, please help. There's a terrible pirate at the docks. Oh, no. Of course we'll help. Let's catch the pirate, Morphle. Arr! I am Pirate April. I am the best pirate in the world. Stop it right there, pirate. Huh? I am Knight Mila, and I'm going to catch you. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, no. Morphle, morph a sword, too. Oh no, you've caught me, 
night, Mila. But I have a ship ready. Whoa! And the ship has a cannon. Look out, Morphle. Let's go after her. Morphle, morph rockets onto the night zoo. Dragon! And now I'll set your ship on fire! <gasps> Morphle, morph your sword into a shield! A flying barbecue! Pirate, let's catch the dragon together! Yeah, I'll shoot water balloons at it! <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone? <laughs> oh no! Uh oh! It's the witch! I am the most powerful witch in the world! <laughs> we need to stop her! I'll help! Me too! to work together. But how? I've got an idea. <laughs> ah! You have defeated the most powerful witch in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Mila and Morpho, I told you I just cleaned the room! Just play hide and seek by myself. And I never ever find anyone. It's even worse when I'm the one hiding. Friend too. 
With this life ray that I borrowed from Professor Rashid, we can make you a friend. Boy, oh boy! Seek, <laughs> you find me. doesn't want to play with me. I just think your new friend doesn't like playing hide and seek. I think he likes playing ball games. But, but I like hide and seek. Hmm. <gasps> then why don't we come up with a game that is both hide and seek and a ball game. Oh boy, oh boy, he's coming. <laughs> oh boy. with wings. Hi, Mila. I haven't. I'm looking for our newest magic pet, Ampy. It's gone missing. Are you looking for this? Ampy's magic power is that it can make any sound softer or louder. And now everyone can hear us everywhere. La, 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 la. All right, stop it right there. No, you stop it right there. 
It's so loud! Ah! Let's go, Yorn. Give Ambi back. Morphle's not with her, Stein. Yeah, and with Morphle gone, no one is going to get in our way. Milo! <laughs> Morpho! Help! Morpho, he's Mila! Morpho, go help! Boom! This is fun, Stein! It is! And especially without... Morpho! Uh-oh! We don't have to worry. Dragons can't cover their... Ears! Morpho, morph ear protectors over your ears. Oh no. Now we worry. Fly away. Morpho, use your fire to stop the bandits. Whoa! One dragon isn't enough to catch us. Morpho, not enough! Look out! <laughs> dragon! Morpho, use your flame to trap the bandit! <laughs> they caught us, Stein. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You cannot be that loud in my city! You two are going to jail! Mila, Ampy, I'm so glad you're okay. <clears throat> I was wrong about dragons. I shouldn't have shooed you away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cute little fella. It's so funny to think that one day you will be big and scary. <laughs> With this sapper that we stole from Professor Rasheed, we can turn these animals into giants. <laughs> we are going to have a great day at the zoo, Morpho. The bandits are zapping all the animals into giants. Oh no! We need to get the zapper back. Morpho, morph into a superhero. <laughs> You're zapped in. Uh oh, we didn't think that went through. We'll be back. No. Great. Now let's zap back all the animals. There, it's the penguin. Lion. 
Morpho. Hi, monkey. Let's zap you back to normal. Keeper Kenneth, we're back! Great! But, oh, oh no! You have become really small, but you're still great animals! <laughs> Princess. Really? <laughs> I wish I lived in your time. Leela? Leela? Oh. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Bye, Mila. I think you will make a great princess. I hope so. Come on, Morphle. Bandits? We are sheriffs! Yes, Princess Leela. And your father left us in charge while he is on his travels. So we can take all the money we want. <laughs> well, I'm the princess now, so I have to help my people. Morphle, morph into Sir Father's suit of armor. Princess Leela! Hello, Sheriffs. I have returned from my travels. Me, Sir Father. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can't trick us twice. Give me that beard. Huh? How? Uh, Stein, it's not coming off. Pull harder. Mm. Oh! You two have committed the greatest of crimes in all the land. Pulling on the king's beard. <laughs> I shall have you thrown into the dungeon. Wow, Marvel. 
Marvel, I didn't know that being a princess was such hard work. I wonder how Leela is doing in our time. But Stein, now that we have run away from the king, we can never be sheriffs again. Mm. Yes, Yorn. We are no longer the sheriffs. From now on, we will be... the bandits. Ah, <laughs> yeah. And our children? And our children's children? And our children's children's children? <laughs> yeah. And our children's children's children. <laughs> Morphle, morph into a ram. <laughs> Morphle, morph into an elephant. to an Ankylosaurus! <laughs> Oops! Oh no! That was our only ball, Morphle! Let's get it back! Morphle, morph into a speedboat! Hit me in the head with this tiny rock. That's not a rock. That's our baseball. So it was you. We're so sorry. It was an accident. We were just playing baseball. Baseball? What's that? It's a game. We can show you. Birthday. Oh. Huh? Birthday. 
Happy day? Well, yes, but my monkeys have escaped. They're my friends. Why would they leave me on my birthday? Morpho, we have to find out where those monkeys are so we can bring them back to Kenneth. Oh, catch we can't. Well, we have to find them first. Morpho, morph into a helicopter. Yay! is quite big enough.
everyone. Let's count from one to ten. Let's start with one. There is only one morphle. Yay! <laughs> now let's count different things. And what comes after one? Two! Two! Gosh! One! Two! Aww! Puppies! <laughs> and there are three puppies. One, two, three. What's that? Look, Morphle. Dinosaurs! One, two, three, four. Four dinosaurs. Police! Five police vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. That was exciting. Yeah! Do you know anything that there are six of? One, two, three, four, five, six monkeys. Airplane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven airplanes. Wow. And at the harbor, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boats. And nine kids want ice cream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> That's where I come in. I have uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ice cream cones. <laughs> okay, this one should go. Morphle, morph into a logging machine. Tree Morphle. <laughs> Morphle like it on the trees. Yesterday's big storm pulled out many trees. If trees aren't rooted properly, they can just fall down all of a sudden. And that can be very dangerous. <laughs> Morpho loves cutting down trees. Oh no! Look! Tumbling test tubes! Are you okay, Professor Rashid? This is my latest invention. Everything I zap with it becomes very big or very small. cut way too many trees. My beautiful forest is gone. Where are the forest animals going to live now? It will take years for these trees to grow back. Morpho, shall we? Wait! I have an idea. Professor Rashid, can we borrow your invention? Well, 
welcome to this year's school play. This year, we play some of Morphle's adventures. Roar! I am a really dangerous dinosaur! Mila, Morphle, save me! Oh, no! Morphle, morph into a dinosaur as well! Yeah! Dinosaur! Um, <laughs> no, Morphle. I'm Morphle now. Um, okay. Stop! Let's play it again. And action! Yeah! Morphle Dinosaur! Roar! Did you see that, Yawn? Morphle plays in a school play. How about we dress up and join the play? We can just grab Morphle because no one will notice we are the bandits. <laughs> yeah. Roar! Ah! Good job, Morphle. Uh, thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> but, uh, wait a minute. What role do you guys play? I'm Daddy. And I am, uh, <clears throat> the mayor, of course. Say something. So, Morphle? <clears throat> Daddy is really proud of you. Let's go home. Huh? The end. <laughs> uh huh? Wait. <gasps> the bandits. We finally got you, Morphle. What? That was a great school play. I wonder where my little star is. Daddy! Morphle! Help! Wait, there are two Morphles? Let's get away! Huh? Huh? Mila Morph! It was just a play, Morphle. I can't really morph. Please, morph into a dinosaur! Please don't eat us! We... we'll let the other Morpho go! It's Mila. We were tricked. Well, I think I know what next year's school play is going to be about. Ooh, can I play you, Denstein? Oh, look, Jorn. <laughs> I have a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Morpho, morph into a crane. What a great idea to surprise Princess Leela and Sir Father with a castle. Yeah, that way they'll have a place to stay when they visit. And with Morphle and Professor Rashid's life ray, we'll be done in no time. Whoops! 
They ran out of stones. Morphle, morph into a dump truck. See you in a bit, fellas. We need those blocks, Morphle. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on Princess Leela's face when we surprise them with the whole castle. It's going to be the best castle they have ever seen. There he is! Your crane took a statue from my garden. And my bus. They took stuff from everybody. Oh, boy. We need to get to the castle fast, Morphle. I want that statue back! Oh no. Guys, you were supposed to wait until we got back. We need to give all this stuff back to people. Morphle, morph into a wrecking ball. A castle? In this modern time? Surprise! Yes, we built it for you guys. Wow! We missed having a castle so much. Well, I'm sorry, Sir Father and Princess Leela. We have to take it down. A lot of people's stuff got mixed up in there, and they need it back. Oh. worry, we have plenty of material to build you a new one. Wow, this castle is even better. I can see my house from here. I could see if you're home, so we can play together. Glad to see everybody's happy. I want that statue back! Hi, everybody. Are you ready to come travel back in time with us? We're going to visit the age of the dinosaurs. Ooh, dinosaurs! There are all sorts of different dinosaurs, and we are going to study them all. Let's go! Here we are, the age of dinosaurs. Look! Oh no, those are velociraptors. Velociraptors? 
Velociraptors are small but dangerous dinosaurs. Whoa! Tumbling test tubes. Whew, that was close. Thank you, Morpho. Morpho, morph into a Gala Minus. Wow! A Gala Minus is one of the fastest dinosaurs there is. Great, Morpho! Look over there. Those are Argentinosauruses. They are so big, but they only eat plants. <laughs> oh no, we need to save that egg, Morpho. Morph into a Pteranodon. Now, we need to find the mother of this egg. Hmm. It doesn't look like an Argentinosaurus egg. No. Look. There's some Argentinosaurus eggs right there. Let's keep searching. A Triceratops. Triceratops have three big, sharp horns. Aw, that's so cute! But look, those eggs are different from the egg we have. So this egg isn't a Triceratops egg. Interesting. A real Pteranodon! And it's trying to chase us away from her eggs! And look! Those Pteranodon eggs don't look like the one we have! Let's fly away quickly! Those are Ankylosauruses! They can use the end of their tails to hit really hard. But look at that eggshell. It's different from ours as well. Huh? How can there be crocodiles in the time of the dinosaurs? Crocodiles are a really old species and already existed in the time of the dinosaurs. Wow! But look! Even the crocodile eggs look different from ours. Oh, I don't think we're ever going to find the mother of this egg. Wants to eat us. Run! Morpho, morph into a T Rex. A Spinosaur is way bigger than a T Rex. It 
wants to eat us, but what does it want? I know, it wants the egg. The Spinosaurus is the mother of this egg. Phew, that was close. Good thinking, Mila. Who can I thank for this? What are your names? I'm... We can't tell you. We are the masked superheroes, and we have secret identities. Give back those awards! But I never got any awards in high school. <laughs> yeah, now I am officially the number one ballet dancer. Okay, okay. 
Here are the awards bag. No, no. You can keep that one. It says... <laughs> best at getting caught. We are champions, Stein. Yeah! <laughs> we are standing here with the people that saved all the city's awards. We have one question for you. Who are you? We can't tell you. We are the masked superheroes, and we have secret... I'm Troy. I'm April. Morpho. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to catch you. We're playing tag. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Come on, Morpho, we can catch her. Hmm? Where are they? Mila, Morfu, come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, where could they be? I think they are in the bedroom. Hiding under the bed. Catch me if you can. 
You can't catch me, you can't catch me. <laughs> My growth ray can be used to turn these small plants into big trees. That's so cool. Tumbling test tubes, the battery is running out. <laughs> Oh, that's what I get for buying those cheap knockoffs. Ah, here we go. <gasps> Look, it's a giant bird. Don't worry, I'll shrink it back. Uh oh, it stopped working again. Morphle, morph into a pterodactyl. A giant bird? Not in my... Uh, hey! Give me back my sandwich! I hope you get indigestion! He keeps looking for new food! Let's lead him out of the city! Farmer Bob's farm. Here, the bird has enough food to eat until Professor Rashid arrives. my corn. There's only one cob left. Hmm. We can take care of that. Amazing. That's prize winning corn right there. Look, Morpho. That elephant is stuck between two trees. Drink. 
people morph into an elephant. Now you can take some water from over there and use it to fill the camel's trough. It's too scary. I'll never be able to do stunts like that in the competition tomorrow. Sure you can. Morpho and I will help you. How can we help him be less scared, Morpho? Uh, crash helmet? <laughs> he already has a helmet. I was thinking of something else. Morpho, morph into a bike with a sidecar. <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! Whee! Whoa! Whoa! See? It's not scary! It's not too bad, I suppose. But we haven't gone up the big ramp yet. Well, get ready! Yes, that was fun, but I hope I can do it by myself tomorrow. <sighs> Mila, Morphin, I can't do this without you. It's too scary. It's... Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> we got Morpho! Yes! <laughs> Morpho is ours now! No! You can't take Morpho! Treat with us, Phoebe? I'm sorry, guys, but my mom never lets me trick or treat. Come on, dear. Oh, oh well. Too bad. Let's go, Morpho. I'm sorry, Phoebe, but you're a witch. And you know what happens to witches when the sun sets on Halloween. All witches become evil. Yeah, right. Who even believes that old story? Bye-bye, and thank you. Wow! Look at all this candy! Too bad Phoebe couldn't come with us. 
Wow, Morphle, that was a really great costume, don't you think? <laughs> Morphle and more scary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> costume? No, those can't be costumes. to find out what's going on, Morphle. Morph into a giant spider and follow the candy. Hey, Phoebe, do you want to help us deliver this candy to the other children? <laughs> Did you collect more candy than you could eat yourselves last night? Um, sort of. Well, I think it's very nice that you want to share it with the rest of the children. Thank you, Mila. Welcome to the Big House Building Contest. These are our contestants. The rules are simple. 
build a very nice house from anything you like. Our house is going to be made out of stone. Ours will be made out of cotton candy. <laughs> we are going to make the best sand castle you have ever seen. Get ready, set, go! Oh no! I forgot to bring cement. Now these bricks won't stay together. We have to help them, Morphle. Morph into a cement truck. Thank you very much, Morphle. Now we stand a chance again. Oh boy, this candy is not sticking together as well as I thought. <laughs> hmm, how do you think we can help them, Morphle? Honey! Yes, let's go get some honey. Thank you. This is perfect. Now we finally have time to build our sand castle. Time's almost up, everybody. Oh, no. Wait, Morphle. I have an idea. Three, two, one, and that's it. Let's see what you have made. Ah, very nice. And sturdy. It's beautiful. Oh, and tasty, too. Wow, that's amazing. And so big. You deserve the award. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha you got me there, but you don't have a house, so I can't give you the award. That's okay. We're happy we could help the other team. Then I give this award to you for building such a tasteful house. Thank you very much, but I couldn't have done it without Mila and Morphle. And as a reward, you get to eat the house all by yourselves. Yay! Hold it right there. Hi there, fire truck. Dump those losers and come with us. Hey, we need our truck to get to a fire. Better start running, then. <laughs> yes, we are now the vehicle bandits. And with this life ray, it's easier than ever. Oh, no, Morphle. We've got to stop them. Morph into a race car. Wait. We need to put out a fire now. Morphle, morph into a fire truck. to the farm! No more trips for you, you Sunday driver! Why, you, you ruffians! Time to clean yourself up! <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was flipping burgers, and all of a sudden, a fire broke out. Let's go after those bandits, Morphle. Bandits! Wait, Mila, Morphle, 
Those bandits have stolen my ambulance, and I need to bring this lady to the hospital. Morph into an ambulance, Morphle. Ah, a quiet day in my city. No traffic violations anywhere. Huh? Cars without drivers? Oh, not in my city. Wait, what? Bye-bye! Now, let's get those bandits. <laughs> Stop it! Right there! Oh. Uh. Morpho, morph into a police car. Wow, it's like you read my mind. Let's get those baddies. Oh, no, you don't. Vehicles, stop them. Fly over them, Morpho. Uh oh. Vehicles, join forces and become a mega robot. Oh, boy. No! Stop it! No! Sweet rides. There's only one ride left for you, and that's a ride to jail. Morphle, morph into a fire truck. Troy, do you want to take a ride in a real fire truck? Hmm, that's not a real fire truck. My big brother Gerben is a firefighter. And I can take a ride whenever I want. Ah, an emergency. Now Morpho can see what a real fire truck can do. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Got this, Mab. Huh? There you go. We brought your cat to safety. There's a building on fire on the other side of the city. Uh, we're faster. Oh no, this fire is too big. We can't do this by ourselves. Let's work together. a 
flying fire truck. Wow! It's wonderful to have some help from a magic pet. Morphle, would you be interested in joining me at the fire department from now on? Uh, Morphle no can. Uh, Morphle me like pet. You know, Firefighter Gerbin, I think I know the perfect magic pet for you. Aquily, help your new human companion. Wow! 